Well, now, in regard to this problem of, uh, of the ultimate revolution, uh, this has been very well summed up by the moderator. Uh, in the past, we can say that uh, all revolutions have essentially aimed at changing uh, the environment in order to change the individual. I mean, there's been the uh, political revolution, the economic revolution, uh, in the time of the Reformation, the religious revolution. Uh, all these uh, aimed, as I say, not directly at the human being, but at his surroundings, so that by modifying the surroundings, you did achieve uh, in at one remove an effect upon the human being. Today, we are faced, I think, with the approach of what may be called the ultimate revolution, the final revolution, where a man can act directly on the mind-body of his fellows. Well, needless to say, some kind of direct action on human mind-bodies has been going on since the beginning of time. Uh, but this has generally been uh, of a violent nature. The techniques of terrorism have been known from time immemorial, and uh, people have employed them with more or less uh, ingenuity, sometimes with uh, the utmost crudity, sometimes with a, a good deal of skill in prior, uh, acquired uh, by a process of trial and error, finding out what the best ways of uh, using torture, imprisonment, uh, constraints of various kinds. Uh, but uh, as um, I think it was Metternich said uh, many years ago, uh, you can do everything with bayonets except sit on them. Uh, that if you are going to control any population for any length of time, you must have some measure of consent. It's exceedingly difficult to see uh, how Pure terrorism can function indefinitely. It can function for a fairly long time, but I think uh, sooner or later you have to bring in an element of persuasion, an element of, of getting people to consent to what is happening to them. Well, it seems to me that the, the nature of the ultimate revolution with which we are now faced is precisely this, uh, that we are in process of developing a whole series of techniques which uh, will enable the controlling oligarchy, who have always existed and presumably always will exist, uh, to get people actually to love their servitude. Uh, this is the, seems to me the, the ultimate uh, in malevolent revolution, shall we say. And uh, this, is a, this is a problem which uh, has interested me for many years. And about which I wrote uh, 30 years ago a fable, The Brave New World, which is uh, essentially the account of a society making use of all the, the devices at that time available, and some of the devices which uh, uh, I imagined to be possible, uh, making use of them in order to, first of all, to standardize the population, to iron out uh, inconvenient human dis uh, um, differences uh, to create, uh, so to say, mass-produced uh, models of human beings arranged uh, in some kind of a scientific uh, caste system. And uh, since then I have uh, con continued to be extremely interested uh, in this problem and I have noticed uh, with increasing dismay that uh, a number of the predictions which were purely fantastic when I made them 30 years ago uh, have come true or, or seem in process of coming true. The 